This video is going to look at using the offset filter in Photoshop to put textural artwork into repeat. The offset filter is good for certain types of artwork and not so good for other types. Great for things that are textural or have quite an all over kind of pattern structure. Not so good for things that require a bit more consideration in terms of layout. So I'm working with a scanned fine liner drawing of an animal print. It's all been cleaned up already and it's now ready to put into repeat. So one of the first things I do in Photoshop is just come up and check my image dimensions and resolution. It is essential to do this before artworking any kind of um, repeat in Photoshop. You need to make sure that the resolution, the dimensions and the scale of your artwork um, is all as planned before you start doing your repeat. The last thing you want is to spend ages making a really perfect repeat only to find out that one of these um, resolutions or scale or size is wrong and you have to rework the whole thing. So I'm working to a tile size of 16 by 16 and if you're working in fashion that will determine your repeat size is often divisions of 64 by 64, so 32s and 16s and so on. Interiors can be different. These are not hard and fast rules either. Okay, so I'm happy with my tile size and resolution. So I'm going to use the offset filter, which I find under filter, other and offset. And I'm going to use these sliders here. If I slide that to the right, can you see that my artwork is being offset? So it's being offset towards the right and any anything this side of my artwork that's pushed off the canvas bounds that way appears this side. So I've got this seam, if you like, in the middle that needs to be fixed. So if I press OK, I can now start to fix that seam um, using any technique that I wish. So in this case, I'm actually going to use my magic wand to select the white background and hit delete. Command D to undo. And now I'm going to use my lasso tool to grab um, shapes and start to fix this. So I have selected that. I'm going to make a copy of it, put it up here. Okay. Now I'm going to use another lasso to grab another shape. And I'm going to speed this up in a minute so you don't have to watch me do the whole thing. So switching to my move tool, hold alt to make a copy. And I might choose to delete some areas such as this. So I've got add to selection on, come down here, select a bit more, hit delete on my keyboard just to give me a bit more space, perhaps the same here. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and fix this up. Okay, so now I've roughly fixed that uh, vertical seam in the middle of my artwork. I can do the same for the horizontal seam. So if I select the layer I want to make the uh, changes to, come up to filter, other and offset. And now I can reset these values to zero before I do anything else. And then just move this vertical slider up like this and that's going to offset my artwork to reveal that horizontal seam that needs fixing. Make sure wraparounds checked as you do that. Hit OK. And now I can do the same thing here and begin fixing my artwork. So 
now I've fixed both the horizontal seam and the vertical seam, it's, try, it's time to test it out. So firstly I'm just going to um, just put a white background behind this. Okay, so to test this out, I want to define this as a pattern. So to do that, if I come up to Edit, Define Pattern, and then you can give it a name, but I never usually do. Hit OK, and then this is saved now as a pattern in the Adobe Patterns Library in Photoshop. So now, to test out how the repeat looks, there's several ways you could do this. Uh, the easiest way them to do it that I often use is to come down here and add a pattern fill layer and then from this little drop down here you can choose um, from the patterns library so the last pattern that you've defined will be the most recent one in the list so if I choose that one now at the moment this pattern is being displayed at 100% scale so we can only see one tile however if I reduce this down a bit you can see that we are getting a full picture of how the repeating tile looks and we can see that this is a fairly successful repeating pattern however um, if you're being picky you might notice that I don't know if you can see my mouse here, if I run across side to side, you can kind of see a bit of a stripe. So you might choose at that point, if I turn that off, you might choose to come back to your original tile and make some further changes to the artwork to try and improve the repeat. And then again, you can define the new pattern tile by going edit define pattern and creating another pattern fill layer to see how it's improved. Another way that you could test out the pattern would be to create a new document. And this is particularly useful if you are going to be printing this off on acetate, say, for a silk screen, and you know that you've got a maximum print area on your screen of, let's say, uh, 50 centimeters by um, 40 centimeters. And then so I've got my new document and now I can um, select all by pressing command A on my keyboard. If I, uh, with one of the selection tools active, right click, go to fill, contents, choose pattern and then again choose that latest pattern in the library, hit OK and we can see our repeating pattern working across this document now. Lastly, I just want to show you one extra tip for using the offset filter. If you have several layers or a colour separation that you want to preserve when using the offset filter, you can apply the filter to each different layer in turn. So if I demonstrate by clicking on this um, colour 2 layer. If I turn the top one off for a minute and then if I come up to filter other and offset I can make sure wrap around is checked. I can move this slider to the right and my seam is revealed. In the middle if I hit OK if I was to make this layer visible again now, you can see that the two layers are no longer lining up. If I now click on this top layer here, colour 3, and if I come up to filter, the last filter applied will be saved in the top of this list here. So I can just press that button there and then I've now applied the same offset filter to this layer too. And that just enables you to um, keep a colour separation or keep lots and lots of different layered motifs um, with the offset filter instead of having to merge everything together. And you would then proceed to fix this up as usual.